Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Thursday, May 2nd, 2013. Well, a change of trend again today and a candle that's made a higher high and a higher low. Previous days trading, we had a fairly large black body that changed the trend to the downside. And today, the uh, sellers of yesterday have been met with equal strength by the buyers of today quite a change of sentiment uh, compared to the previous day's trading very much matching very similar candle with the opposite sentiment where the buyers have closed with control for today's trading and they've shown very strong commitment for most of the trading day this uh, does suggest uh, that there is a possibility of the market making a potentially successful assault on the 1600 round number level of resistance so what we've seen over the two trading days and uh, considering the very large size of the body of the candles is uh, probably a little bit of volatility coming into the market, a very large sell-off and then an equal match of that uh, volatility by the buyers for today's trading. Now crucial to this market obviously is this 1600 round number level of resistance and if we see uh, early bullish activity up above there then that could be a good sign that the uh, buyers may have enough strength to close the market up above that 1600 level and uh, obviously we're in blue sky territory uh, the market hasn't traded up to those levels so we can use our Fibonacci techniques to look for some targets so in terms of the Fibonacci extension and now that we're in a new first time frame uptrend we're comparing that first time frame uptrend to the previous time the market was trending up and here today we've seen a bullish close up above the 78.6% level our next target is the 100% coincides with uh, an area just above the round number 1600 1601 so that is a very very important level as we know 1600 is a round number and very important has been a strong barrier in a zone now to this market and uh, the next level up above there if we do successfully trade up above that level is the 161.8% around 1613 in terms of the Fibonacci retracement and obviously the market has matched uh, the uh, sell-off yesterday and we've halted trading at the 100% there was a small probe up above there and uh, a close just around that level so suggesting some small lack of commitment but really nothing to be too concerned about the uh, buyers have control of this market uh, successful uh, bullish activity up above this level and above the 1600 level gives us target at the 161.8% at 1607 now in terms of that uh, pattern that we were looking at, at that uh, potential double top, well the market has now taken out that top to a, only a very small extent, uh, closed pretty much just at the close of the previous level so if we look at uh, at this on a close by close basis we haven't made a new uh, higher close but the uh, high of the current candle has taken out those levels but only in a minor way so uh, nothing to write home about here uh, pretty much this pattern is still in force but this pattern won't be um, finalized until we have a close down below the bottom barrier so uh, confirmation is required but uh, uh, this does alert us to the potential for that pattern but really the thing is this pattern might not even uh, occur this market could trade up through the 1600 and uh, continue trading up and then the pattern is null and void yesterday I brought up the uh, technique with the Bollinger Band indicator and uh, that showed a lack of momentum on this second peak so that is still uh, a consideration but today we haven't seen uh, any follow through so we're seeing the buyers now come back into the market and take control and uh, even though yesterday was a uh, quite a substantial sell off in terms of the large black body no follow through the sellers weren't uh, strong enough to take out the high uh, sorry the low of the previous candle so no uh, continuation of that trend to the downside and it says something perhaps about the strength of the buyers now that strength of the buyers however is limited by this 1600 round number level of uh, resistance so we do need to be aware that that is a very very strong barrier to this market moving higher now in terms of Ichimoku obviously a bullish market in all three time frames the market's trading above the clouds so we have uh, bullish buyers in the long term time frame trading above the Kijun Sen the pink line so the market's bullish in the medium term time frame and if we look at that Kijun Sen it's just started to 
kick up a little bit and that's uh, probably a positive sign for the buyers. It does suggest that the market has found some upside momentum. And looking at the Tenkinson, the green line here, that is pointing up fairly sharply now, reflecting some solid upside momentum. So this suggests that the buyers may be uh, building uh, for uh, an assault on that 1600 level. So obviously moving forward, 1600 and just above is an area that we do want to watch. Bullish activity up above there may suggest uh, higher levels, but if we do see uh, downside price rejection then we have support down around the 1576 level, but also very very strong support at the Tenkinson which is trading around 1570 and coincides with this swing high uh, in the recent past.